Hey everybody, Debbie Starr here, hopping in to share a quick tip with you that will help you speed up the time when you are building your funnels and will help you get found on the internet. It's all about the SEO and the keywords. And guess what? We are going to use our best friend, ChatGPT, to help us. And I'm gonna show you a couple of system hacks because I'm all about how can we do the, the stuff that we have to do faster, but also create some systems that makes it super easy in our business. Now, I am using the all-in-one uh, wonderful uh, marketing software called go high level slash high level. There's a lot of companies that white label it like Funnel Gorgeous. So it doesn't matter where you've gotten it from. This is the product that I'm using right now. Now, let me just say this, you know, you might use ClickFunnels or Kajabi, uh, Kartra. There's a lot of other all-in-one platforms out there. They all work pretty much the same. It's just, you have to find the area. The question that came in to me this week was how do we put in that SEO data and what does it even mean? So follow along and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So let me just shrink my head down here a little bit. So right now I am inside of Go High Level over here on the left under sites. I had opened up a funnel template. Now, just a little commercial here. Uh, if you're one of my affiliates or if you are in one of my membership programs, my Digital Business Academy program, I give you these uh, funnel templates for free. So this is just a simple little uh, lead magnet funnel template that is very high converting. So we just have the opt-in page and then the thank you page. So I'm going to hit edit so that we can get into this page and I'll show you what I'm talking about when we say the SEO data. Now, uh, if your Go High Level looks a little differently, they have recently changed the um, the builder. Uh, so you might have to turn on the, the new and improved builder format. And up here along the top, if you just hover over, you're going to find one that says SEO metadata. What does this even mean? This is the like under the hood, the back end searching stuff. So when this is living out on the internet and those search engines are looking, this is the data that they come across. Well, what do you put in it? So here's the deal. Uh, the title is going to show up. So you don't want to just say um, slimy sales page, right? <laughs> you want to give it some kind of meaningful title, one that the search will find it and it'll make sense and a title, you know, that's going to make sense to your ideal people. Now, the description and the keywords, that's where I'm going to get our little friend ChatGP to help us. So here, I've already put in uh, kind of some generic uh, information here. So I'm gonna come over here to ChatGPT and make sure that I'm following along here. And it's gonna say, how can I help you today? So what I'm going to say is um, I'm working on my um, new sales page for my Digital Business Academy. Okay, and uh, let me just, I'm going to pause this for a quick second so you don't have to watch me type and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I just added uh, the details here. Basically, I'm just saying, hey, I'm working on my new sales page for my Digital Business uh, Academy, blah, blah, blah. Help me create the SEO page description. And then I gave it just a brief description of, you know, the sales page. So it's a mini, mini version of the uh, sales page, okay? And so then we're gonna just... Um, let chat GPT do its thing. And, you know, it, it understands what it is we're trying to do. So it just uh, pumps all that out. So here's, here's all of the information that it's given me. Now pay attention kids, because this is where the beauty comes in. I am going to grab all of this. Hopefully I am going to grab all of this 
and I am going to come over to a spreadsheet. Now this spreadsheet template is something else that I give my members. And again, we want to simplify, we want to automate our business as much as we can. So you're gonna find that there are certain things in your business that you're doing over and over and over again, okay? Let me just zoom in here a little bit so you can uh, see this just a bit more. So what I've done is I've created this spreadsheet. There's lots of tabs. I'm not going to talk about the rest of them right now, but the page title, uh, it'll change a little bit for each one that's in this funnel, but the initial part will probably be the same digital business Academy sales page so that you can launch your business, something like that. Okay. And then notice we have a description page description, page keywords. Now, if you build funnels, if you want to start building funnels for people, um, I do this occasionally. Um, I will build out one of these for my clients. So we've got all of this information. Then every time we go to build a sales page, we've got it. We don't have to keep doing it. All right. So I am just going to paste all of that uh, information in here and let me just wrap it. Okay. And the only, the only thing <laughs> I love my uh, Google sheets, but the only thing is sometimes I have to come back and copy it uh, twice to get it to go into the same thing. You're going to see why this is so beautiful here in just a minute. Um, did I just copy that twice? I think I did. Anyway, <laughs> you get the idea. So I would just have all of this under my page description. And then here's the beauty. We've got it on the spreadsheet. So now we're going to come back over here and we're just going to paste it all in. And it's right there. All right. And again, the reason we're doing it on the spreadsheet is basically the uh, page description is going to be the same for each one of those pages inside of that funnel. And if I'm building multiple uh, lead magnets, multiple sales pages, but they're all kind of in the same uh, genre of my business, most of the stuff I can rinse and repeat. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, okay, please provide SEO keywords. Here's the secret separated by commas. Okay. And let's see what happens here. And we're going to do the same. Oh, now see, sometimes, sometimes chat GPT doesn't listen. Um, redo the list without bullets separated by commas. We'll see if she understands that. There it is. Perfect. All right. And then you could read over it. And if it's not quite getting all of the keywords that you want, uh, you could keep asking. And again, what am I going to do? I'm going to come back over here to my spreadsheet and I am going to just dump it in there because again, next time I go to build something, it's right here. All right. Are you seeing the magic in this? Now I'm going to come back over here to my um, page builder and here in the keywords, I'm going to paste in those keywords. And there you go. Now, the other stuff like the uh, the author name, that's uh, what you put in. And occasionally, maybe you want to put in a title, um, something like that. So, you know, I'm just going to say uh, business strategist and mentor. OK, um, the social image is that picture that shows up like if you post this on, um, uh, you know, a Facebook uh post that little picture that shows up. So you want that social image to be good. All right. And so here in this example, I'm just using my uh, logo here. And then I'm going to tell it to update the SEO. Come over here. I'm going to save it and then publish it. And good to go. So let me just recap here. The beauty is by building things and using this spreadsheet, or you could use a Google Doc, you've got this information. So you only have to do it once. And 
you would think like my uh, Facebook group names, my LinkedIn, all of that kind of stuff. I'm a fast typer, but I'm a lot faster copying and pasting. So I go and I fill out all of the stuff, things that I would use over and over again. And then when I'm building out my funnels, see how easy peasy it is because now we're good to go. Now, the next question, part B to this is when we, let me just come back out here. As of this date, this is January 2024, with, <coughs> excuse me, go high level, every single page, you would need to add that. All right. So again, we've already got it saved, so it's no problem. We'll just open up the SEO and then we could just come in here and add whatever the data is. All right. So you have to, and then the title would change, you know, it would still be, you know, whatever the wonderful title is and then dash TY for thank you or whatever it is. So as long as you're using the spreadsheet, it's easy peasy, just copy, paste, copy, paste, and you're good to go. Or the other thing you could do is you could create a template page. And on that page, and in fact, I'll do a separate video on that. On that page, what I would have is my standard heading that I probably would use on most of my pages, sales pages, opt-in pages, all that kind of stuff. My standard footer that I would use on pretty much all of those and the general standard stuff that goes into the SEO content. And then guess what? All you have to do, you'll notice down here at the bottom where at the bottom right, clone funnel step, then you could just clone it. So if this particular uh, funnel had five steps, you know, maybe there is an opt-in for the lead magnet, a thank you for the lead magnet, then maybe a sales page, um, a checkout page and a thank you page, whatever it is, you could clone that page five times and you've eliminated that basic information and then you just jump in and you start typing. So I hope you like that. Let me know in the comments, uh, uh, what questions do you have? Uh, was it useful to you? If you're watching this on the YouTube channel, I would love it if you subscribe to it. If you want real time support to grow your business and to get past all these little tech issues, then think about joining the Digital Business Academy. We would love to have you in there and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.